and welcome everybody to a brand new season of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. That's right, it is a single pack season of Paldean Fates, a collector set where, as you can see, we have ETBs here. They don't sell booster boxes for this, that's part of what makes it a one month season, so we've already sort of pre-opened this and we'll have, uh, I think, 35 contestants today. I am super excited to know we also have some rookies in the pack. We it do. should be a lot of fun. Also, there's like the, uh, is it the shinies? Yes, are there are shiny involved? Pokemon. Yeah. So there's some repeat cards, but now they've got like shiny versions of them. So lots of fun in that department. Lots of opportunity. There's this set has a lot of like high, like mid range value cards. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like getting that last place award more than ever is going to be very difficult. Right. I, I bet there's at least. I don't even know, out of the set of like over 200 cards, I bet over 100 of them are worth more than one point. Right, just like even just like, like the regular hollows, just like normally we can just immediately say that's one point, but right. we're gonna have to check them basically all because a lot of them are worth more than a dollar. That's exactly yeah. it. So, so without any further ado, let's dive on in. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now as ever, it is time for the wheel of energy. Jay, would you like to do the honors? Of course. Dude, water. water. You I think so? And water, down right, water. Let's see. Yep, yep. Hasn't been water in a while. Oh, and it's fire. So you know you have to guess every time, close. just in case you get it right. Then people think you're super smart. I know. I'm gonna go ahead and change this over to big flare. You know, I would be upset about the skateboard moving, but I do also love me some Flareon from back in the day because as kids, basically Jay had the game first, and then he sort of adopted Vaporeon as his. And then Tyler played the game more often, so he had Jolteon, which left me with Flareon, which wasn't so bad because I was kind of like a <coughs> like a blastoise. Kid as well, so right, you know, so you got some type some, variety. Yeah, some right. I was more of a Venusaur kid myself. You were indeed, you yeah. were indeed. So you so. needed that, like that water coverage. Yeah, anyway, water so coverage. we did it. There's Flareon. Way to go. Bam. Ready to break this box? Let's do it. Let's break the box. Actually, while we do this, that's, we already pre opened them because it's not a booster box. We had to put them all in here. There you go. That's all today's packs. Uh, today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Clebopus, Frigibax, and Whimsicott. Clobopus is a is that's a name. That's a name. Some people probably think it's called Clobopus, but they're wrong. Ooh. You know who you are. Yeah, I bet they do. Yeah. Probably yeah. immediately obvious. It's definitely Clobopus, you guys. That is definitely the optimal way to say the name. Dibs on first pack. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Let's jump right into it. Uh, today's first contestant, this season's first contestant, is going to be Anthony. Anthony! Okay, Anthony, let's see what we can do for you here. Here we go, here we go. Are we on the back of Anthony's card? We are on the back. And the season nine of Box Breakers here. Wow. So Anthony exciting. has been here since season three. So. Man, okay, okay. We got right. the Raucous Pummeling Energy off the oh, top the of back, the Fridge Backs right away. We got the Pine Co., the New Mel will score, the Not Too, the Scrafty, the Ultra Ball, the Swoobat, oh, the, the Magmortar. Magmortar score yeah, twice. That, that will score. Yep, yeah, twice. The Houndstone will score, as well as the Mimikyu. Bam. So, so one, now if two, you get a pack three. like this where you get three rares, you actually might stack up more points. Points. You absolutely could. Because yeah, they all... might be worth more than one each. <coughs> and the Let's... Magmortar will already be worth two. Okay, so the Magmortar is just going to be worth nine cents on that one. So our first highlight of the season, number okay. 43 on the set. It'll take us to page two for the Houndstone. is going to be also worth seven cents. So that's just a single point. Seven cents? Gosh. Yep. And then the Mimikyu, number 37 on the set. That's on the box. So you think it'd be worth something. One dollar, 12 cents. Bam. So this is actually going to be a $2 Mimikyu. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven Whoa! point pack. Right away. <coughs> Very <not> impressive. 
very impressive. Probably not enough to get you, uh, you know, like a, a big win or anything. But what I love about the single pack seasons is that everything feels important right away. You know the stakes immediately. So right now, Anthony in first place. Whoa, way to go! And in last. That's true. Don't get a big head. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Be humble. Be humble. All right. Next up, we have Mysterios. <clears throat> oh, it's my turn. It is there your turn. Go. Yeah, I'll open a pack for you there, Mysterios. We've met Mysterios in person before. Yeah, great indeed. guy. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're chilling. <clears throat> Mysterious had a great season eight with 47 points. Let's see if we can ride that wave for you. Grass energy, so no multiplier. We've got the Tandem Mouse, the Whooper, the Execute, the Mankey, the Charmeleon will score, the Oink Alone, the Camera Up will score. Oh, look, there you go. We have our first oh. shiny, the Palma. That's definitely gonna be worth a couple of points, I have to think. Look, is that the gold? Oh, I love the gold star. star. That's, That's so, so cool. cool. That Palmot scores. The Chincho will not, but the Mabostiff will. Okay. There's our scoring cards. Let's look at that Palmot. Let's check it all and out. And the Mabostiff, I guess. Yeah, what's Mabostiff first? I think we'll get to that one. So number 63. 63 and then 144. Number 63 is just at 11 cents, so that's okay. just a single point for the Mabostiff. And then 144, let's see what that does. This one I think was, it's like somewhat useful, so I bet it does something. Yes, $3.62 for the Palmot. So there we go, four, the shiny five, rare. Six, four, five, six, seven, and we've got a tie. Two packs in. Whoa! There you go, just Very it. impressive. Tied so, for first. Tied for, and last. And last. Don't get a big head. Don't get a big head. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Think, you, think you're tough stuff? I know. Seriously. Go Seriously, on. we just said it. Oh, Mysterios. Next up we have Goddess Princess, and well, I'm excited, I don't, we've only ever seen Goddess Princess, no, we've, Goddess Princess ten, tends to take us on a journey. Yeah, a journey. A journey. If so, you will. Let's see how this pack goes. It's just, it's such a dark pack, I know. like the black backdrop, it's like, I mean, it's kind of ominous. I know. Feels, feels <clears throat> right in line for, for Goddess Princess, if I think I know them, like I think I do. Feels like tight advantage. Let's see, let's see. All right, so we're taking our coke. I'll set that aside. I was wrong. Uh, electricity, but we got the magmar. Oh, there you go. Games, there right? you go. The Nimona, the Charmander, Charmander, the rare candy, the primate, the lantern, the whimsicott score. will score. There we go. The tandem mouse will not score. The curlia will not score. Oh, oh the Nimona! Oh wait, and Ben, it's a critical hit. It's a critical hit. Indeed. Oh no! Look, three guns. We goddess princess always delivers. Always delivers. Look at that. And I'm pretty sure Nimona's a pretty big. Yeah, I think it's like the top four cards in the set. Let's see, number two. <laughs> 29 on the set. No, Wait. that's a different Nimona. It's the one oh, where she's holding it? the ball up. Oh man, okay. Well, I bet it's still, I bet I it's bet still. It's still yeah. Not bad, not bad. Let's see, number 229. Oh no! Not what we thought, not what we not thought. Not what we thought. $1.57 for oh, that Nimona. no. We're so it's just the other one. So it's just a two point? Just a two point. Right, so two, three, four, five times two is 10. 10! For the lead. We Goddess have Princess eight. has been there before. They have, they have indeed. Mm. Well done to Goddess Princess, but as ever, don't get a big head. Don't get a big head. We have, to, we have to tell everybody so far. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, so every single person thus far. I know, it's like, we, have, we gotta give that warning, you know? It's like, it's like, stay humble, stay be humble. true to who you are. Exactly. I'll tell you what, if, if 10 points wins the season, it's gonna be a really sad season. <laughs> It's like, we're gonna get to the end, the end of it. We're just like, Goddess a, Princess uh, does it. That's a two point card. <laughs> Here we go. But oh, honestly, we're averaging high right now. Yeah. We are seven, seven, and ten. All right. Next up, we've got Taylor Stale. This is our first rookie of the day. So uh, the Olive Garden gift card is up for grabs for Taylor. All right. Let's, let's see. see how they do. Rookies. This is what's at stake. In case you're wondering, we're not joking. Not sponsored, would be. But also, if you're if you're an establishment and you want us to do your gift card instead, you just we're happy to do so. As we'll long as you're like at least a national chain, so people have some chance of going. You know, we're all right. In. We're in. We're, we're in. in. All right, let's see. Bam, psychic energy for Taylor Stell. So no type advantage so far. Noibat, Chime Echo, but too bad though. The Look, psychic. I know. Yeah. Moon the Swoobat, the, swoo the Nest Ball, which previously was a two point card. No this longer. season, there there are no. Common or uncommon cards that cross the barrier into two points. So. I just want to, just for the sake of people <clears throat> curious, thirty-three cents. Thirty-three on that cents. Ball. Yeah. So yeah. doesn't count this season. But Ben, critical hit on the what? Mom Junior. Followed. Oh, here we go. The Guard of War. Oh man. Okay. What? Just see. a straight up reprint, though. Like this is the same art as when it first debuted. 
I can't even remember in what set. That is so but, interesting. Yeah, and it's not going to do much for us with just 46 cents for that Gardevoir. But really too bad Psychic wasn't the one, so it's really just going to be a one, two, a four point pack, even with the wow, critical hit. Wow, man. Unfortunate, but into last place goes our rookie Taylor Stell, but at the moment, they are leading the rookies. But you know what they say, don't get a big head. Don't get a big head. Yeah, that's exactly right. We got to tell everybody. So literally, it's been the and case for, for some reason or another. Every for every, every single person. Whoop. Okay, let's see if we can be more gently with that. There we go. But you get a Gardevoir, which is still one of the best decks in the game. That's exactly it. So yeah. enjoy. There enjoy. You, you can play with that, Taylor. All right, next up, we've got Veiva coming in hot, coming off of it. Only a six point season. It would not surprise me if they beat six points in this pack. Let's go. We're about to find out. Let's see, how is she gonna do? All right, Veva, we'll set that one aside. We got our dark type energy there. The Tandem Mouse, the Bar Boat, the, the new Mel, yeah, that's exactly right. The Camera Up scores. Camera Up will score, as you guys, I was gonna say exactly. <laughs> Atticus, the Dawn Fan, the Ghastly. Oh, oh, look at that! That's gotta be good for first. Look at that shiny Wug Trio. The glorious I Wug Trio. And then the Zatu to close out as well. So let's check the Zatu first, because it'll be a front pager, 26. So that's just gonna be 10 cents That's for just us. one point. Yeah, so let's Boy, see. Boy, this one looks, that one looks good. Number 224 on the set. You got it, you know, it's always a good thing when you're in the 200s. Although no! Whoa. 66 cents. This? Unbelievable. 224? 224, Wug Trio, Hollow Foil, Illustration Rare. 66. No, that is unbelievable. This is a playable card. You can, this is a mill deck right here. That is unbelievable. So it's wow. just one point. One, two, three, four points no for Veva. That puts them into a tie for last place. So they are uh, on the podium right now, but don't get a big head. <laughs> Man, that threw us for a total loop. I thought for sure that was, I mean, people use this. I know, and it's a and cool, it's cool. Card. I mean, honestly, play this deck just because you can, you can bling your deck for four bucks. Exactly. I mean, it. do it, exactly right? Exactly it, yep. <clears throat> anyway. Here we go. Next up is EK Sko. Nailed it! There we go. Everybody, big round of applause for Jay for <laughs> getting you. it right. Congratulations. It is bound to happen eventually. I know, yeah. You know, I gotta win that coin flip sometime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, EK Sko. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Bam, okay, no type advantage for anyone just yes. We nope. have the Moschief, the, the Rolf, Magmar will score. the Magmar scores, the Fido, the Scrafty, the Curlia, the Gengar. It really seems like Eyeball Energy is like the, the type to get. Yes, I'm seriously. Indeed. Executor scores and Mabostiff scores. Okay. So We've we already, know that one's one. Yes, I don't know about indeed. the Executor. Let's check number 24. So yep. the front pager, I don't think anybody on the front page is going to be worth more than one point. As is so often the custom, but yeah, it's so weird. Nine cents for the execu egg exec executor. Executor. Yes. Like I was saying. Yeah. So well. Yep. And articulately. Got it. <laughs> you can't even say articulately. <laughs> no, I know. I, that was on purpose. Sure. <laughs> that puts um, Ek Sko into last place and on the podium. Don't get a big head about it. All right, Ben, here we go. Could it be the season for Big Steve? Right, now, open for what me. makes me nervous about this this time is that usually when a new set comes out, me, me and Big Steve will go down to the card shop, we'll do the pre-release, and without doubt, Big Steve will pull like one of the two best cards in the set. And it's like, he'll only have five packs to do it. And then he'll come on the show and totally just sort of like whiff. But for this set, he kind of whiffed on his personal packs, which makes me really worried about this pack. I know, this could be it. This, this could, could be, be it. it. The day could come. The day, the day could, could come. come where Big Steve is our champion because that was part <clears throat> of the deal when we included him in the game. Like, he can win. Yeah. It's just he's always he's always ridden the top of the bell curve. It always right. seems like he's, like, right in the middle. So, let's see. Here we go. Could Big Steve do it? This also sets us up for Big Steve award status. It does indeed. So, we're about to learn some very interesting <clears throat> information about the podium. Why should be nine points? You know, the guys in the back feel good about it. You think so? Oh, they, oh no. They the guys in the back haven't been active in a while. For a while. A Let's while see. indeed. No right. type advantage. No type advantage. We got the Haunter, the Cottony, the Maractus, the Gimme Ghoul. Not so far. Guys no. in the back whiffing. The Grapplock. Ooh. Grapplocked. That's right. Thanks. What Clubopus evolves into. There we go. The Iono. The Iono. Formerly a two point card, not this season. Not this season. The Kilowatt Troll. Yep. Chimeco. Nothing. Does not score. 
and the Baldean student, and oh, oh, the Claude, Claude Sire. Sire. Oh, yeah. gosh. Man. Well, we built that up for nothing. You know, <laughs> I mean, Claude Sire not really playable, and this is a reprint, so it's just a different hollow pattern. So poor Big Steve, <clears throat> coming in with a whopping 31 cents. No, he's in one. Okay, so that is interesting because it means that a two-pointer will get you into, actually though, you know what? It does put Steven in last place, 31 cents. Yes, it does indeed. Oh my gosh, and that high <coughs> was so close to an 83 cents. Like, wow. it's still valuable. It's, just, I mean, it is one of the most played cards in the game uh, easily. Steven in last place with 31 cents kind of feels like a good last place play. Uh, and he is actually still on the podium anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get a big head. There we go. Well, enjoy, Big Steve. Thanks for playing, as always. All right, so now we're looking for a two-point pack for the Big Steve Award. I know, kind I know, it's kind of, that's kind of wild. Yeah, yeah so let's see go. here. So just one point for Big Steve. Then we got Dakota up Dakota, next. Dakota, oh gosh. We were just playing uh, Smash with Dakota yesterday, and we we told her we would try and pick her a good pack. Okay. Not that we have much control over it. Oh, is it me? You're up, you're up. I'm gonna pull for Big Steve, I'm gonna, so. I'm gonna yep. go right, just that. Oh, a Pikachu pack. A Pik and, and Dakota does play for Team Electric, so. Okay, so there we go. All right, all Let's right. Let's see. Everybody pull? Dakota is one of the mods, so the right. mod curse might be upon her, but. This is this is like where like when people are like putting and golf. There's like oh okay we got okay. the type advantage. They got the type advantage for the first time all day. Okay and a and Pikachu. It, and a Pikachu. It feels like a good omen. Doesn't it does. It, it does indeed. Okay. The Lapras, the Toad School, the Artisan, the Lantern. So far we are wiping. Oh, the Toad, Toad School. School. A, cr <gasps> we got a four times multiplier. Four times. Okay okay. On the electric generator and the oh! no, it's a, no it's the other it's still the wrong Nimona. No no way. Two twenty nine. Oh my I, god man. Yes you're right. So one dollar fifty seven cents. So just two, but times four, so eight. Eight! An eight point pack, so apparently the four times multiplier does not get Dakota into first place. And for the first time Sadly. today, oh no, we don't we don't have any kind of any like there's there's we didn't we didn't have to worry about Dakota getting a big head. Yeah, well, the, you know that goes that goes without saying, you know. No, you know. I, it does indeed. It does indeed. Yeah. But well played what? on the on the four times multiplier. Boy. You're still getting a full art card, which is four amazing. The Nimona is really cool eight. looking. So if she, for, thanks for if she it. hadn't gotten the four times multiplier, if it had just been the two times multiplier, she would have been for the big Steve. At least for the moment. For the moment. For the it moment. would have put you at right. two points. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but she had the Nimona card, so that's cool. Enjoy that. Not really playable, but you know, nice to look at. Anyway, next up is Afro Punk. Okay. All right, let's see, what do you got? All right, Afro Punk. Two of the same doing. Nimona already. Who would have thought? Oh, Especially because with with the Elite Trainer boxes, we are taking multiple boxes and funneling them into one box. Yeah. So it's like, it's kind of, it's a little bit, I mean, I guess it would be more strange to pull two from the same booster box. Yeah, but so it's just, it, I guess we, it, they definitely came from different boxes, you feel right. like. Especially since we sort of pulled from the middle on that one. Right, so we got the Salad There's energy. the Chew again. Got the Pikachu, <coughs> Paldean Student, the Fido, the Haunter, the Electric Generator, man, a lot of these look familiar. Oh, yeah. The Charmeleon will score, the Technical yep. Machine Crisis Punch, Ooh, the Tandem a Mouse, shiny. there we go. Look that guy up. Yes, we will indeed, with the <coughs> Tandem Mouse, looking yep. beautiful. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, the Palafin. Dang, what a dark and ominous that looking card. Is. And it's pretty playable. Okay, okay. The and then and the, the gold dango. dango. I think we gotta okay. look all these up. Okay, we'll gold dango. Up. Yep. Yeah. All right, so number 67 on the set. We'll start with the gold dango. Okay. And 24 cents for that just one. Just one so there. Just, just one. Let me mark it. See how close we can master set. The palafin is number 225 on the set. So we'll scope that one out. $1.15 for okay, the palafin. Okay, so two. Only two? Just two points Man. for the palafin. And then the tandem mouse at 209. Same page is $4.98 for oh, the so Tandem five, Mouse. Five, so five, six, seven, eight, nine points. When all is said and done for Afro Punk, what a fun pack, too. It was a fun pack. Man, it seems like the shinies are like the way to hit it. It does. That's what people want is those shiny cards. That is crazy. If you have a sleeve here, yes, maybe indeed. two sleeves. There we go. Yep, we got shiny. two. Yep. So that means that we still have Goddess Princess on top of the leaderboard with 10. At 10. Okay. Holding strong. Holding strong. Very impressive. <clears throat> But I do feel like the average pack seems to be skewing higher than what we're used to it seeing. It does. Which is pretty cool. Except for Steven. Except for Steven. <laughs> Not been his set so far, but I'm sure I'm going to get a text from him at some point that's like, Did you still, I pulled the Mew! The Charizard is what you're looking for in this set, yes. as ever. It's There's beautiful. an Illustrator Rare Charizard, and it is bonkers cool. I yeah. so hope one of you gets it. Maybe it'll be Xander, our next contestant. Uh, Xander's coming off an eight point 
these in here. Let's see, what do we got for the big X? All right, we got a Magmar that'll score. The Nemoto will not. Charmander scores. Nest Ball, Swoobat, Moonlit Hill, the Weavile! That's a shiny. There we go, okay, okay. Bam, the Maractus will not score, and the Houndstone will. We know that one's one, two, three. So what is the Weavile? All right, let's check it with number 183 on the set. I do love getting to go to the page so often. $2.94 for the Weavile, shiny rare. So three, four, five, six points. three, four, five, six points. There we go for Xander, pretty solid. Yeah, not a bad showing whatsoever. We'll go Very ahead and cool. sleeve up that Weavile for you. Well, I didn't think it would be that exciting to pull the shiny Pokemon, but so far, it has been. It has been, absolutely. Yeah. That's been really cool. So hopefully we'll see a lot more of those. I'm pretty sure we have a whole page worth yeah. of uh, potential shinies like that could be on, yeah. the, on the board. So, so plenty left to be pulled. So as ever, while Charizard is the best card in the set, the best shiny is a Pikachu. There you go. There you go. There you go. So be on the lookout. That's what you want. I think the Pikachu is like the four. Is that the one of the top four cards in the it set? It could be. It uh, yeah. Let's see. I don't know how how fast I could potentially find it. Yeah. I think it was the the Pikachu. There's the, a Charmander. The other Nimona. Um, there's a, an Illustrator Rare Mew and then the Charizard. Yeah, so, they, so. Uh, the, the shiny Rare Pikachu is going to come in at $29.40, so that'd be a good one to pull. It's a good one to pull. Yes. All right, you're up for Faith. Faith, okay, let's see. We got Tinkatuff? Is that who's that? Yeah, Tinkaton. Tinkaton, Tinkaton, okay. Oh, excuse me. This is a set I have not, I've not really been looking at the set ahead of time, so I'm like discovering these cards in real time, and they're, oh man, some of these are really cool. I know, it is really fun. So we got the Maractus, the Paldean Student, the Chin Chow, the Pineco, the Swoobat, the Gengar, the Oinkalone, the Natu will not score, the Nimona's backpack, <laughs> there. man, Nimona's just everywhere, everywhere. today. Everywhere, and the, the Cerulege. Man, okay. So All number, right, so this is gonna be a one point, so I believe Steven was at 31 cents, so if this is like, uh, if it's more than that, this will put them in the Big Steve Award. If it's less than that, it puts them in last place. It's in last place. Oh, oh man! Nine cents for the Cerulege. It's a one point at nine cents, which means Steven is not in last place. So he's off the podium. That's he's, why you don't get a big head. That's exactly it. Right. But to, to Faith here? But to Faith! You are in last place with nine cents. That's pretty solid, has it, to be said. I know, Although we've yes. had a few seven cent rares so far as well, so. I know, I'll be very, uh, very curious to see. I don't even know actually what the lowest value overall is, but that has got to be close. Although, goodness gracious, look at this. This Heat Rotom is worth 99 cents. That's like the worst Ooh, rounding I've ever seen ever. So. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. All right, Ben, next up is our next rookie of the day. It's Herbert Chorley. <laughs> that name sounds familiar. Mm, junior assistant to the British Prime Minister until I had an adverse reaction to a poorly performed imperious curse. It's a Harry Potter joke. Yeah, it is a Harry Potter joke. Maybe acting like a little bit like a duck. A little bit like a duck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Right, so Herbert looking, Chorley. Looking for some Psyduck energy in this one, maybe? That would be fantastic. It, it would be. A Psyduck. Would be so we're looking four points is what Taylor currently has as the rookie of the day. So that's what we're looking for. We looking the, pretty good yeah, so it's far. A, it's a good start. Great start. The Fleddle, the Pikachu, that's a good omen. The Griever, the Fan B. Moonlit Hill, the Dawn Fan, the Atticus, the Magmar Dazzler. will score, the Pineco will not, and the Espathra! Oh, okay! First card there, Dazzling Gaze. All right, oh, but that's a look. front page card, so let's see oh, here. No. Yeah, just 71 cents for the wow, Espathra. Wow, just a one, two, oh no, it's just a four point pack after all, so even with the type advantage, they're going to be tied for Rookie of the Day right now. Wow! Herbert! It's worth saying though that Magmar does have a, a little bill. Kind of like a duck. It is true. Yeah, yeah Magmar yeah. is kind of a duck Pokemon. Kind of duckish. There you go. So there we go. There you go. Herbert. Enjoy the Spathra. Indeed. All right. Next up, we have Andy. Andy is coming in off of a ten-point season. Can't if they get ten points now, they'll be tied for first. If they get more, they'll be in first. Okay. So, okay. Let's see if I can open this pack at all. Here we go. Here we go. Man. We've had a couple, uh, only a few type advantages, and they haven't really paid off in huge ways just yet. Not yet. All right, Flittle, Wooper, Griever, Char Cadet will go down. Nest Ball, only one point this season. Oink alone. The Lapras does not score. The Pineco does not score. And the, and the Reva room. room. Let's see, number Let's 65 see. on the set. Yeah. Just for safety, we'll check, but I doubt it. I know. Eight cents. Eight on the cents. Room. Oh no, it's a two point pack. That what well, two points? This does put them in the Big Steve category, though. Oh, does it? There okay. you go. This okay. is now present. So yeah, what was this? An eight cents? I'll write that down here. Write it down, just to be safe. 
So they are now, uh, that's actually pretty solid for Big Steve because you want to be just in front of him, which means someone else will have to get a two point pack with just a seven cent rare card value. So yes, yeah, you're right. This is, this is this a good This is a position. very good play by Andy to get to the Big Steve award. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, good job, well done. Don't get a big hit. But you are in a good spot. All right, next up is uh, Low Skill Rob. Which is our last rookie, uh, or not a last rookie of the day, but our next rookie of the day contender. Uh, they discovered a passion for books and audiobooks by delving into Harry Potter via audiobooks. How about that? Well, there you go. That's amazing. <clears throat> Pretty much. So, audio cassettes. Oh, Sorry. cassettes. Oh, man, go back to the cassette days. I had a friend growing up with the cassettes. We had the CDs. It'd be though. so many. It would be a lot of cassettes. All right, let's see. So <clears> we, got the, we need we got four points for that gift card. We do indeed. So we got the Lightning Bolt Energy, the Cottony, the Maractus, the Gimme Ghoul, the Scraggy. Man, have we not had a Clavopus so far? No, Cl we have Clavopus? not. Clavopus. Clavopus, man. Or the Whimsicott? Like, you know, these no, we've had a Whimsicott. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, the Nimona's Backpack, the Kilowattrol. Oh, the Kadabra. Oh, Kadabra with the lore on the Kadabra okay. card. They immediately give it a shiny one. That's amazing. That's so far. Oh, and it's a critical hit, Ben. It's Kilowattrol. Oh, with the Kilowattrol, so that'll be a double. And then the Hound Oh, man. Can Kadabra carry? I feel like maybe. It's like lack of being in print for like 20 years. Yeah, there's a crazy there's a cr story. There's a good chance there could be something here. Not bad, $6.37 for the Kadabra. What? It's seven, eight times two? This is 16 points for low skill Rob. For low skill Rob. That is going to put them uh, in first place uh, overall and First place for Rookie of the Day. How about <coughs> that? There we go. So well done to Low Skill Rob. That's going to be a tough one. That is going to be a tough one. There are two more rookies in the field today, so we'll have to be on the lookout. But wow, way to get out in front. Sorry, Goddess Princess. But That's if I know anything about Goddess Princess, She's gonna be right back in it for eighth place. Yeah, at some point There's in time, no doubt. almost certainly will be in eighth place. Yeah, almost no doubt. Yes. But can she land there? That will be that, the question. That's the big question. It's always a journey. Always a journey. Next up, we have got Aiden, who is coming off of an eight point season. Hopefully, they can do a little bit better. Is it me? You? I don't even I'll know. I'll go for it. Go for it. Bam. Bam. Give it the lucky wiggle. Ah, uh, the old wiggle. Let's see. The big wig, as they say. As they say, all right, let's see here. So the code card is sad. We got the Teardrop Energy, the Fampy, the Dedene, the Noivat, the Chimeco. Chimeco. Chimeco, sure. What, or Chime Chow? Chime Cho. The Mouse Hold, the Iono, doesn't score this time. The Camera Upped. Yep, that yep. does the, score, yep. The Cerule Edge will score. The Scraggy mm. will not. Uh, and the oh, heat the Heat Rotom. There we go, will score twice. <coughs> twice, and I guess so. we can double check to make sure it's not a little bit more. Yes, indeed. That's the 99 cent card. Oh, no. About. So one, what a loser. One single penny away. Sorry, Aiden. From being worth more, but instead we'll just have, did we check the Cerule Edge yet? Number 40 I think, I think we have, yes, one. we have yeah. indeed. Yeah, so three, four points. Oh, you're right. right four, not For the three. Heat Rotom, yep. And wrote that so, down wrong. Good save. Heat Rotom has good two. save. Yes. Four points for, for eight in there for Team Grass. Bam. Here we go. All right, next up we have got Chase. Chase, okay. Chase, uh, Dola's son. I'm not mistaken here. You are correct. All right, here we go. Grab a pack of you right there. Loves hippos and collects pins. Right there with you, man. Yeah, we were just on a Disney cruise. I got so many new uh, Pluto pins. I don't know if you guys have been to Disney World. They do tons of pins. Jay's family from... collects Plutos. Yeah, we do. If you like Plutos. If you have any, you know, you know, if you don't want them, I'm just saying, you know. No pressure or anything. It is his birthday on it Sunday. It is my birthday on Sunday. Whatever. <laughs> it's, a big, it's not a thing, you know. Pluto pins. <laughs> All right. Next up is Chase. Uh, Tandem House, Bar Bunch, New Mel will score. Primeape, Whimsicott will score. Oh, look at this, the double score. And the other Nimona. Oh my God. And the Annihilate. What is happening in this pack? We are about We've to got, see. This is going to be an easy first place because we've hit a critical hit on the good Nimona. This is what we were talking about earlier. Bam. Sorry. Uh, who just got... Low skill Rob, I'm sorry, your time atop the podium is um, over. You yep. know what? Well, I said don't get a big head. You didn't listen. Yeah. Chase, um, Chase just knocked down the park. Destroyed you, I'm Nimona sure. Nimona alone is worth $18.33, 83 cents, $18.83, so 19. 19, 20, 
21, 22 times two is gonna be a 44 point pack! What? What the is that? Actual you know, heck? I'm so proud of Chase because he's been in the game for a long time and he's had a few good runs. He's had a 20 point season, he's had a 24 point season, but those were with three packs. This is 44 off one. Off one. You love to see it. I mean, that, there. I mean, I, I don't know for sure, but there. I mean, there's a world where that that holds. There is a world. I mean, who's to say? I don't know. What is what is like the Charizard worth? The Charizard is worth up in the upper 100s. <laughs> oh, so yikes! If somebody pulls it like that Just alone, on its, on its own. Yes, that that could totally like really break the game a little bit. Wow. So even um, if Chase had pulled that on the um, four times multiplier, it would have just been an 88. Yes. Yes. So wow, the so. Charizard is really going to be tough to beat. You might. Need Zard to beat Zard. Yeah, one eighty two twenty one for that Charizard is what we're Man. looking at. So yeah, well, un unbelievable. One eighty two. One eighty two. Oh my gosh. Charizard. So, okay, that, is that the most valuable card we've ever been able to pull? Possibly. Maybe oh since Moonbrion. No, that, maybe there was. Well, maybe, was the Iona like two hundred or something? It, it would have been, been up there. It would have been up there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there is an Iono in this set too. That's the other one That's we didn't true. talk yep, about. Yep, in the top five. We never pulled it last time. So here's hoping on the Zard. Here's hoping. My goodness. All right, next up is Ben's probably Soster-in-law, Sammy. Soster. Yeah, Soster. <laughs> How's your Soster-in-law <laughs> doing, mate? There we go. Here we go. Uh, How'd Sammy do last season? Sammy last season got 17 points. Very impressive. That's a good showing. Let's see here. All right, so we've got the Lightning Bolt Energy for us, the Ghastly, the Ralts, the Toad School, the Woobat, the Moonlit Hill, the Donphan, the Atticus, the Lantern will not score, the Flittle will not score, and the Zatu. Just a single point. Oh, okay, so now what are we looking for? We have single point. Which is still Steven, right? That's it? Um, let's see here. I no, it's not. Someone else got one so, point. Yes, I believe Faith as well got one point. Right, so um, Steven had a 31 cent card, but what did Faith have? I can't even remember. I don't know. The Zatu is gonna come in at just 10 cents though. 10 cents, one so, point So pretty cents. terrible. Unless it's really good. Let me double check what Faith's dollar value was here. Okay. There it was. It was nine cents. No, so Faith holds on to last place by one penny. Oh, That's crazy. Man. Un disfortunate for Sammy. But there you go. That is how the cards wow. fall sometimes. One cent off. So you need to get lower than nine cents if you want to take the um, the crown away from Faith. How about as it? it were. How about it? Woo. All right, next up we've got Brick Frog. Brick Frog. There we go. Man, this has been a great season already. This is why I love the single pack season. I know, there's so like much that drama. So fast. Every pack means something. Fighting Energy, or the Rock is Pumbling, Mosh, Jif, Barboach, LeChonk. There's a really fun LeChonk in this set. Prime, was that second part? No, no, no. Whimsicott scores, Scrafty, the Charmander scores, Ghastly, and Annihilate. So, three point pack? Yeah, three yeah. point pack overall. Okay, okay. There we go. Well, Simmer, simmering things down just a, just just a, a tiny smidge, little bit. You know, there you we go. Go. Three points, unfortunately. Although it, it would have been exciting a few packs ago, but here we go. Haley and Colin, last season's last place. Last season's last place, last indeed. Season's last place. There you go. Which was an impressive last place because it was a four point last place. I know. It's the highest last place we've ever had. So you're like the, the king of the, the losers. You're, yes, exactly. exactly. But we admire you for that. Exactly. So we got the Pikachu here, the Pikachu pack. Feels like a good omen. Let's see. How are we gonna do? All right, got the, oh, got okay. the eyeball energy, the so. Dedenne, the Nimona, man, showing up like crazy. Everywhere. Again. The Natsu, the Rare Candy, the Moonlit Hill, the Camera, camera Up will score. score, yep. The Atticus, the Maractus will not score. Atticus, Maractus, Frigibax will score. The Frigibax will score, yes, Random Chosen Combo Chase card, and, and the, the Raichu. Raichu on the Pikachu pack, so how about that? <laughs> We'll check number 19, but it's a front pager, so I don't think so. 11 cents for so the ride. Just a there. three point pack for Haley and Colin, I'm afraid. Yes, indeed. So I don't think that's going to be very strategic for just about any reason that we know of at the moment. Nope. So as we trudge forward, either which way, congratulations on your last season, last place win. There we go. Well done to you guys. Next up, we have Blue Malamute, who, let's see, did 10 points last season. How are they going to do? This season, actually, Blue Malamute hilariously has also been a last place finisher before. Oh, really? I believe so. Man. Yes, way back in season two with just a single oh, point. Right. Yep. Yep, single point right there. Here we go. Lightning Bolt Energy. Can they pull it off again? Execute. Ghastly. Ralts. Toad School. Curlia. 
Gengar, Nestball. Oh, oh the they are not because okay, the King Gambit looks. Yeah, that's so cool. Awesome. Shiny, the Don Fan will not score, and the Goldango, I think, was one point last time we checked. But let's check that so. King Gambit because that's a new one. Yeah, let's double check. Yeah, so the Goldango confirmed, and then the King Gambit's number 187 on the set. Throw that, that sleeve for us? you, real quick. 206. Okay, so it's going to be a three, four point pack overall for Blue Malamute. There we go. There you go, and you got that awesome King Gambit card coming your way. Yay, shinies! I'm loving the shinies so far. Those are okay. super cool. Right. All right, next up we have Chris! Chris! Who is uh, training for his first marathon. Or, well, that's what it said back in season four. So probably ran it by now. It's been it's been a minute, but yeah. congratulations on yeah. finishing it. I also ran one last year, so, you know, we're in it together. Yeah, right? There we go. Oh, the, oh there type we go. advantage! Here we go! So we Chris is on fire! Two times multiplier, Cottony, Pineco. The there we Numa. go. The oh, yeah. The Mactus, the Donphan, the Nestball, the Graffalocked. The Clive. Clive will There's a pretty not. silly Clive card in here. There is, yeah. It's yeah. just pretty fun. The Grievard will not score, and the, the Zatu, Zatu again. will. Oh, it's just geez, a four-point a four pack. pointer. Come on, Zatu. That's not what you want to see. You can do better. I know. I want. I, I. My favorite is when the multiplier does something big. I you, know. You well, want so that's it what, to be. That's what happened. To, um, who's our leader right now? Got Chase. Chase. Yes, yes. indeed. Yes. Right. Anyway, next up. Oh, I think we have another rookie, Ben. It's Christina Bierce. Okay. By the way, we've got a bunch of rookies today. We should mention that we do still have open slots available for box breakers. Uh, if you've been on the waiting list, you should have gotten an email. Yes, indeed. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And so we've actually expanded the availability altogether. Yes. We were sold out for so long, we found a way to actually increase the number of packs that we have per season. So there are more slots available if you have been waiting. Yes. Link in the description down below, patreon.com slash supercallinggaming, select any of the box breakers tier. And you do, in fact, just in case it's not clear, you do get the packs. Yes, you we get mail the cards. Every single card goes out in the mail to all of our patrons. So yes. Uh, anyway, we super appreciate it in advance. Yes. Don't get a big head. Don't get a big head. All right, Christina! Ah. Christina, can they beat 16 points? Seems so impressive when it happened the first time, and now I'm sort of like, oh, 16 points. I mean, Chase like, oh, is well. over there, like, sitting up on the throne, like, <laughs> <laughs> 44! Take that Olive Garden gift card on the line, if nothing else. Woobat, Fampy, Dedene, Noibat, Swoobat! Wow, so many bats. So many bats. Woo, Noi, Swoo. Moonlight Cam Rebel Score. No, oh, it's a critical hit! Oh, it's a Ben, it's a double critical hit. Is it what? No. It's a four times multiplier pack on the Rever Room and oh on the camera gosh. up, but it's only gonna be, I think, eight points. Oh no! my god. What is happening? You wanna see it do that's more than that. So, that that's unbelievable. So crazy. Is this the first time we've ever had a double critical hit? I think it's the second time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty you uncommon. But that means that how many bats were inside of this? One, two, three, four, four five. Five bats. But only eight points. Me. Now to get a four times multiplier, that's the same, the exact same thing that happened to Dakota. I know. You got yeah, a four right. times multiplier and landed at eight points. How about it? Gosh. Well, either which way, though, Christina, welcome to, welcome the, game. to the game. Thank you for Someone your to watch out for. That's exactly it. But not at the Olive Garden. No, that's exactly <laughs> also right. Where at the at current present low skill Bob, uh, Rob rather, <laughs> is, I believe has a reservation. It could be low skill Robert, in which case. Bob. Let's go Bobbert is also correct. It's also it's on the yeah, it's in it's the cards. It's yeah. in the car it's in the cards. It's in the cards. As it were. Next up we have got Matthias, who uh let's see, is coming off of a eighteen point season, so did pretty good last time around. Let's see. Oh, let's be coming towards the end of the day here, are we? No, I don't think we are. Did That's I not open enough? I don't I think really you opened didn't. enough. Yeah, we might yeah. have to go open another ETB. In my mind, I was like nine times three. That's thirty-six. It's obviously not. That's, that's definitely. I only opened three boxes. Anyway, uh, psychic energy. Here we go. We have Paul Dan, Student Lapras, Scraggy, Mime Junior, Iono, Kilowattro, Gengar, Claude oh! Sire, the shiny Claude Sire. Very good. The Whooper and the Mimikyu will score. So. None of those are in it. We gotta look up that Claude Sire. Yes, we do indeed. So yeah, and I'm pretty sure we've seen that Mimikyu already. Dollar twelve, so that actually is worth two. Oh, the Mimikyu, the Mimikyu is? is? Yes, oh, okay. indeed. So that's yep. two. And then number 219 on the set is what we're also looking for, hmm. which is going to be $1.77. So also two, so four point pack. There we go for Matthias, bam. All right, we'll throw that in here. We're gonna have to take a break here in a second to go open another box. But yeah, that's what we do on the show. We break the boxes. We break the boxes. Right in half. We came ready. Well, yeah. Ish. yeah. <clears throat> ready ish. Next up, we've got Moss Twig. Who? Oh, we're we coming into season. Here we go. Here's the season nine marker on here. 
very full card for Moss. We've been here since the beginning. Since the beginning. Long time player. Shout out. Thank you guys for the ongoing support. We do appreciate it. <coughs> we got the dark teardrop. We got the chim, chime, 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 cho. Chime echo. Chime echo. Right. Like but, a wind chime, which makes an echoing sound. Yeah, but it feels like you're using the E twice. It like does. Chime and echo. Right. It seems like it should be chime, cho, or yeah. kim echo. Like chim echo. Chim echo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, we got the Pikachu. Always a fun card. Yep. The Paldean student, the Fido, the Atticus, the Don fan. The Nimona's backpack, the, oh, the Edge. There we go. Yep, that's a Very fun one. Cool. Oh, look at that! Holy! Whoa, that's so cool. I, we looked at these online. I can't tell you. I don't know what it looks like in the camera. Not good in the it, camera. It doesn't do it justice. It is to what we're so seeing cool. right now. Wow. Hold on, I'm trying to see like, if I get the light. To, oh, yeah. you can see uh, a little bit of it. That, oh yeah. Go ahead, Go back. Go back. Yeah. Right there, oh my gosh, that is, it's really cool. It's like a green gold Maridon EX. And there's a, is there another card behind it too? There is indeed, oh I'm, my still, gosh. I'm still obsessed. I'm sorry, yes, we yeah. got the Maridon EX. I don't care about that. We'll, we'll so. check it just to be safe, but. Whoa! Let's see, number 87 on the set is the Professor's Research. Which is worth a dollar thirteen. So it let's looks get like it's made of metal. Like I don't know how they're pulling that off. That's awesome. The the, the professor's research is worth two. It is worth two. And what okay. number is the Maridon? The Maridon is going to be two forty three. Two forty three. Let's go back. Like I love when I have to go to the back page. That's a good spot to be. Number two forty three. The uh, fourteen eighty seven for oh, that man. Maridon. So fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and then what is the Cerule Edge going to be? Let's see. Number one sixty two. This is so much fun. I know, dude, that was a good pull. That I like that one. one. If only we had some sort of multiplier in here. I know. Not gonna be enough for the top of the leaderboard, but maybe a good eighth placer, who knows, by when everything's said and done. And 431 on that Saru. Wow, range. so gonna be a 22 point pack. Wow, that's from Mostwig? That is from Mostwig, yes. Wow, wow. what a pack, super very. fun, if nothing else. This is very playable and very collectible. It just looks awesome. It does. And I mean, yeah. that puts you in second place overall. Right? That does. It puts so, you in second place. So that's, that's something to sneeze at. Yeah. Although it's amazing to me that that's second place with Chase in first place at 44. So that's literally a two times multiplier would have given a tie. Oh right, my gosh, so. you're right. Wouldn't that have been crazy? Have a tie at 44, 44 randomly. All the spots. I know. Oh, here we go. Next up we have PC. 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 Hated rival of Mac. Who I don't know if we have a Mac in the game, but you know. Uh, oh, I get it. Yeah. I was like, why? <laughs> I have a PC. I have a Mac. Uh, you guys remember those, those commercials? Was that was that Justin Long? It was Justin wow, Long. Wow, what a wow. throwback. Man. All right, let's All right see so PC, PC, Rookie of the Day. Can we do it? 16 is the number to beat. You're up. So oh, I'm up. All right, up. here we go. Da -da -da -da. We have some good rookies here. We had an eight times multiplier on the last one. Is PC gonna bring it? We got the Rockus Pummeling, the Moschief, the Gimme Ghoul, LeChonk, Execute, Curlia, Doxbun, the Oh, I'm Goodness so close. Gracious. So many psychic cards. I There's know, wow. The Nimona and the Hound set. Really? Just nothing matches? No. Everything was very close to matching, it seemed like. I know, wow. But no, just a one point pack for the Houndstone at the end of the day. Man, if, if we had had Eyeball Energy as a type advantage, though, I that know. would have been one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven. seven. Yeah, Man. I mean. Huh. So just one, one point. One point. Now, the question is, is it less than nine cents? We're about to find out. Let's see. So the Houndstone, number 43. I know we've looked it up a couple, seven cents. <gasps> New last place! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, exciting for the well, rookie. Well, well, into last, not going to the Olive Garden, but heading to the bottom and putting yourself in a very difficult position to beat I for know. last place has to be said. Um, sorry about that to Faith, who you just knocked out. That's what happens when you get a big head, Faith. That's you exactly know? it. That's it. We warned everybody. We warned you! I know. I, I desperately wish I had a way to sort my uh, spreadsheet by prices, because I want to know if there's even a rare that can come like beneath Yeah, is there a six cent a rare? A six cent rare. There could be. There could be. We've seen, yeah. it, we've seen it as low as five cents for a single rare in the past. Yeah, that dumb Porygon. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was gosh, embarrassing for, for, for what House a, Porygon. What a worthless card. All right, uh, Annika is up next. Let's see, what do we got for Annika? Okay, all right, we're about to find out. This is our last one. Last pack, although I not hope we saw more contestants. Okay, all right. <clears throat> The metal type. Got the metal type energy. We got the little <coughs> chunk. The shark Oh, school. the Klobopas! There we go. We finally see it. <coughs> nice. How about that? The Varum, the Dawn fan, yep. the Atticus, the Mouse Hold, the Magmar, Magmar will score, the Raichu, Raichu will, will score, score. Oh, and, and the, the Toad, Toad school. school. 
Look at that. There we go. Okay, so that's a front pager as well. So that's going to, the toad school is going to come in at just 37 so cents. Just one point there. So one point for that one. The Raichu, let's double check. That's also a front pager at number 19 is 11 cents. So that's one. one. Two, three, four, five. So five points overall for Annika. Oh, there you go. At least five scoring cards. That's just sort of fun. And, and a sleeved a, card. And a sleeved card. It's always yeah. great. Always great. Well done to Annika. All right, next up on the chopping block, not really, is Jess. Jess! Jess, who we know has got big numbers in her soul. Yes, know? indeed. Yep. yep. Yeah. When Jess was a rookie, she pulled that amazing Lugia card, got the 231 points. So that was probably one of the more valuable cards we've ever had. That's true, because it was 230. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that was in one. Yeah, and that was in one. So maybe the Charizard doesn't quite eke it out. But no type multiplier off that. The Varun, the Charmander will score. The Electric Generator, Gengar, the Charmeleon. The Zatu will score. for the full set, Ben? Could be, could be. The Zatu will score. The Scraggy will not. Oh, the Cyclozar. Okay, only okay, only uh, okay. Let's see. So the number 70 on the set is going to be worth just uh, 12 cents. The All right, Cyclozar. So just four points overall there for Jess. Have to try again next month. Or start again next month for our, our, our next our next season. Next season. All right. Next up, we've got Hannah. Hannah Ooh, from Hannah. Toy Story. From Toy Actually, Story, we had obviously. Andy in this one as well. Right. So. Andy and Hannah. Where, where's where's Sid and Molly? You I know? know. Yeah. We need we need. If your name is Sid and or Molly, please sign, sign on up. up. We'd love to have you. Get the whole fam in here. Exactly. The, the, All right. You know the neighbors. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're. I bet they were friends. You know. Maybe. Back back. Maybe they still correspond with Christmas cards every Could year. Be. I mean, sometimes neighbors are like that. There he's and they still live nearby. Sid works the works the garbage route. We just recently saw our old neighbor <coughs> yeah, a few weeks ago. Yeah. Remember that? He came to this very office. He did. How about yeah. that? Anyway, we got the Charmander. That was <coughs> The rare candy. The tandem mouse. The barbooch. Yeah. How about that? The nest ball. The lantern. The oink cologne. The professor's research. research will two. score. Oh, the one tree. Oh, again, which we know is apparently only worth one. I think maybe so. <coughs> and then the Armor Rouge, which will score twice. Yep. We'll double check well, it. Double check that Armor Rouge might be worth two, I guess. No, uh, I doubt it. But, yeah, so know. just eight cents on the Armor Rouge. Oh, eight cents. Oh, so, gosh. Yeah, so that'll, but it'll be worth two because two, of the yeah, five one, two, type. The Wug Trio, let me just double check five. it because I just want to get it, make sure we get it right. Um, woo! Number 224, 66 cents for the Wug yeah, Trio. Yeah, so still can't one, two, it. three, four, five, six. Six! Yeah. For Hannah. I'm surprised the professor's research is worth two. How do we do on Andy? Where did Andy go? Two on the day. Two on ah. the day. There you go. Andy's got to keep up with the Joneses, or in this right. case, the, the Hannah. The, the Phillipses, I the believe. The Phillipses. It were. Say yeah. Phillips. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, John Munyon. Money man. It says like Paul Bunyan. Money. Munyon. Munyon. It said Money. like, look. Cat wrote on here, like Paul Bunyan. And she tried to explain to me one day that maybe that did not mean Munyan, but in which case, that doesn't make sense. Okay? I but don't know if it... Reginald Munyan. You know who you are. It's your, you're up. You're up. You're up. You're up. All right. Am I... Spelling has been lost to, to time. To time. Do I open? Do you open? You open. I'm going to do it. Do it. I'm going to do it. Do it. Look at us. Look at us. Who'd have thought? Not me. All right, let's see here. So, we got the metal type energy. We got the Scraggy, the Gimme Ghoul, the Magmar will score, the Nimona, the Mousehold, the Iono, the Camerupt will score, the Raichu will, will score, the Lapras will, will not. not. Oh, oh, the Paldean student was gonna score. Man, I just, I mean, it feels, it feels like the kind of card that would do something special. It does, I mean, it's a full art, so you want it to nice, but the other Nimona is not doing so good. But there is a second Nimona, so. Yeah, so dollar thirteen for the oh, Paldean no, student. Two, so two, three, four, five points. For old money man. Money man, Munion. <laughs> Reginald. Reg! Reg! How Reggie. you doing? <laughs> oh man. Reggie Rocket. Anyway, next up we have Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Here we go. Lives in Australia. Wow, I've been there before. Hey man, I've not. It took such a long time. Long time to get there just to fly a, around the a, world. Just a quite, quite a long flight indeed. Yes, I was so sleepy afterwards. I bet. I imagine the pilots who get stuck with that are just like, this is a every day. Every day. Every Probably day. not every day, but yeah. I don't know how it works. Whooper, Graveyard, Artisan. Technically, we've seen Crisis Punch, Curlia. Oh, the Green Dent. Green Dent will score. The Toad School will not, and the Cyclozar will. What is that Greedent gonna? Let's see, number two hundred six. Come in at on the set. 
is going to be two dollars ninety five cents. So that'll round up to three. To three plus the cyclozar is going to be four. Well done to Will Amina. Wazam. Four points overall. Nice. nice. All right. Nice sleeve shiny for you. There it is. Enjoy. All right. Next up, we have John Smith. All right, John. <clears throat> of Jamestown fame. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Kind of a highly unusual name. Yeah. As they say. Yes. Maybe it's always so. one of my favorite jokes in Frozen, where she's Kristoff is grilling Anna, 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 yeah. Anna, Anna, Anna. I've, I've seen this movie like eight million <laughs> times. <laughs> About. Uh, uh, Han's best friend's name, and she says, probably John. <laughs> <laughs> probably John. I always like that. Anyway, that was a really long way to tell that story. We got the Mastiff, the Ralts, the Magmar will score, the Fido, the Iono, the Curlia, the Kilowatt Troll. Oh, the, the Backscalibur. Backscalibur! That's going to be worth something because it's very played. Nice. That's yes. amazing. The Pineco will not score, and the Goldango we know one. is just worth one. All right. What's, what's this Backscalibur going to ring us in at? It is 130 $1.30. $5.50. Three cents for the Bax Caliber. Six, seven, eight points for John Smith. And literally, so the Bax Caliber <clears throat> comes one card in the set at 130 before number 131, the Pikachu, which is worth $29.43. Dang! So a narrow miss on what is otherwise a quite valuable card. All right, well, next up we have Ariel Stormborn. Um, the Targaryens, uh, probably. Pro probably? I guess, as it works. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Flip a coin, right? Anyway. Here we go. We have Haunter, Nature, Whooper, Tandem Mouse, Electric Generator. Oh, oh, Tandem Mouse and Mouse Hold. Oh, no so critical close. hit. Lantern Mouse. So many of these mass shift the Mime Junior and the Professor's Research. Oh, man. Just, just two, two points. points. But actually, we should mark it down because maybe that's good enough to get for Steve. No, because this is going to be worth two on its own. And Steven has. I don't even know. Yeah, what's, what's write it down. It's $1.13 just to be safe. Um, for that professor's research there, so forgot so, what our last two points were worth. I know, yeah, there we go. But it, either which way, enjoy a quite valuable professor's research card. There you go, nicely done. All right, next up we've got Emerald Phoenix, longtime player, longtime patron. You love to see it. All right, Emerald, how are we gonna do? Emerald is also on our uh, over on Super Carlin Brothers. He hangs out with us on a Zoom call once a month. So we've talked to Emerald a not lot. every single month for like years. I know. There we go. So we got the Eyeball Energy. We got the Mankey, the Flittle, the Pikachu, the Grievard, the Curly Up. Man, if we get an Eyeball Energy, I know. Like, it is it's absurd. The Dox Bun, the Gengar, the Jump, the jump Buff. buff. There we go, that'll be good. The Haunter does nothing for us, and the, the Executor. Let's check out that Jump Bluff. Yeah, so the 24 for the front page there. Pretty sure we're gonna pull that one. Yeah, so what number is the Jump Bluff for me? That's gonna be 98. 98. I like how pink it is. It is awfully adorable. $2.65. <coughs> it seems like just getting it to that shiny zip yeah, code is just pretty... a surefire way to, to add additional value. They just like, I mean, people must be like master setting Absolutely. the shinies. Yeah. yeah, they gotta be, I think that's a lot of times what happens with these sets. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Next up we have Jazzy J Truther. What up? Right on cue, it's a U pack. It's a me pack and there we've got the uh, big Dondozo here up top. No, yeah, Dondozo, that's right. Here we go. Can we do it? We have two contestants left today. Bam, got the salad energy there, the pine code, the new Mel will score, the Natu, the Cottony, the Donphan, the Atticus, the Mousehole, the Raw. Oh, no, it's the right for Dubax. The Mankey will not. Oh, and the Claude Sire, which oh, I think we already we know is worth have. one. Yes, I think, I think you're that's right. going to be a three point pack, sadly, just for you there, Jazzy J Truther. But a sleepable card. A sleepable card. Enjoy, Enjoy the Claude, Claude Sire. Sire. Enjoy the Claude. That the Claude Sire is like <clears> one of those that feels like like from like a card pack opening feels so like boring to me, but I feel like if I was playing the game and a wild Claude Sire appeared, I'd be like, oh, that's kind of fun. What's up? I feel like I'd be excited about it in that <coughs> capacity, but otherwise, <coughs> let's go. Get that box right. out here. Final pack of the day for Ethereal Squirrel. At Squirrel. Did we save the best for last? It could be possible. Last, la last pack magic? Last pack magic. I, there's nothing better it. than last pack magic. I so know, let's see If it's it. on the table, let's see. Salad so energy the, again. We got the Mankey, the Flittle, the Pikachu, the Grievart, the Whimsicott. Whimsicott scores. So, yes, it yes. does indeed. Good save. We got the Scrafty, the Ultra Ball. Oh! The no? 
Nope. nope. Sorry, we've seen so many mosh shifts today. I know, the mosh shift does not score. Oh, oh the oh, long trio <laughs> strikes again! Our third no! one! Three, um, it's I'm kind of I'm starting to see why it's only worth one. Yes, indeed, there we go. And then the executor, so just shoot. a three-point pack, sadly, for at Man, Squirrel. Do you remember, go back to that moment when we were so excited about the Woke Tree. I know, now Imagine, I'm like, kind of boring. Yeah. Kind of, oh yeah, it's like, oh. well, well. Okay. Dang, so three points to close out the day for Ethereal Squirrel. So big shout out to Moss to Egg with 22 points and Chase with 44 on the day. And we also, of course, had our uh, our rookie sensation, uh, Low Skill Rob with 16 points. He's gonna be taking <coughs> home that uh, glorious Olive, Olive Garden, Garden gift card. card. So enjoy that. Enjoy we'll your be sure to include it in your, your pack as it's sent out your way. Yep. As ever, guys, like we said, we did open up some new slots over on Patreon if you'd be interested in signing up. And joining the game, we'd love to have you here. You can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlinggaming and selecting any of the Box Breakers tiers. But otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! <laughs>